Good morning, it is Sunday. I am about to show you a pink eye red lip, part of Kid H, Uncut with Kid H, um, using just these products. There's literally one, two, three, four, five, six products on this table, and I'm gonna create a full look with these right now. So let's just get going. I'm not gonna do any skin prep because your skin prep is specific to you and you don't really need to see mine because mine's probably already on YouTube so you could go back and watch it. Um, but the other reason why I'm not going to do skin prep right now is because sometimes I actually don't love to put skin care underneath complexion because it messes with the way the complexion wears. And that's actually my top tip. I'm very tired today. That's actually my top tip when trying a foundation out for the first time. Don't use any moisturizers underneath it because the moisturizers will actually work as mixing mediums to, into that complexion product. Therefore, changing the texture of it and how it possibly wears throughout the day. Just check my focus is good. Um, I think my focus is good. Great, so I'm gonna start with bronzer. This is, okay, I'm gonna start with bronzer. This is um, the Rose Ink Seychelles and I'm just gonna delicately pop a little under there. Just to make sure I've got a little bit of framework on the shadow and contour spectrum, just like that. So kind of just building in those shadows underneath the foundation. Mary Phillips does this a lot. She's an amazing makeup artist. You already know who she is, clearly, obviously, because you've probably been living under a rock if you don't. Um, anyhow, it's a little bit of contour underneath. This is the Rose Ink number four brush, and I love this with this uh, bronzer, the formula of this has really been well matched to the formula of the, uh, to the fibers and the texture and the density of the brush. I'm just gonna do a little bit here as well, just to sort of give the overall glow. I'm having a facial tomorrow with my friend Sophie Pavitt for, um, it's a ultrasound something or other. Ultrasound facial. Um, and then I'm just gonna do a little bit of shadow on the lip with the bronzer and the small end of the brush. It's a little warm. This is a shade Seychelles, I can't remember what I said. And then putting that brush to one side for a minute and then I'm gonna take my concealer and I'm just gonna go straight in with my concealer in the areas that I want the product to be. This is Charlotte Tilbury's um, Beautiful Skin. This, for me, is a little drier and a little bit more full coverage. So a little bit of moisturizer under this isn't a bad thing for me and my skin type, which is normal skin. But because of that, I'm using a dense brush that's gonna pull it quite firmly so, as opposed to my number eight, which is quite delicate and soft. My number eight wouldn't move it as quick as this brush is moving it. This is a rougher number 32. So brushes also impact quite a lot um, how products apply. If you are trying to blend a cream product that's quite dense with a soft, very loose, whimsical feeling brush, you might not get the blend that you want. So you might need to pick up a denser brush. But sometimes denser brushes take too much away. So just something to think about. And also something to just to play with and understand on your own. Because only you know what brushes you've got and um, what products that you have that you would be pairing together, you know? All right, so we are here. Just basically concealing any redness. I'm probably gonna go back in with concealer a little bit after, but just sort of getting, if I don't wake up at a certain point in the day, like basically at the normal time of me having my coffee, I wake up with a headache, it's so weird. It's like my coffee time is normally eight and then today I woke up with nine, so I woke up with a bit of a headache. It's not a big deal. So now I'm going to go straight for the lip stuff because the lip and the eye and the cheek is going to be a combination of the same three products. This is a product from MAC. It is called Marrakesh. It's one of my favorite red lipsticks ever because it's kind of a burnt bricky orangey red and I just think there's something so classic and chic about that. I'm just going to sort of stipple that in and take my number uh, 13 brush, lucky number 13. And just smear that around until it's smooth. 
see on the top but just really get it into those edges if you are doing a blurry lip and you want the fullness of the you want the fullness of the effect go up into the cupid's bow a little more and go down into here a little more try and not bring the width too much here because it, then it's not it's giving you a bit of a joker kind of smile as opposed to a cute cheruby kind of smile or pout even and then i'm just going straight in with this but this is such a good like soft red and honestly whenever you need more if the brush application ain't cutting it just go hard with the bullet of the lipstick and uh, push so i'm happy with that for now i might might tweak it with the other uh, red that i pulled from stila which is beso but for now i'm gonna actually mix a lip and cheek color with beso Beso is Stila's red that's just so amazing and I really barely need any of this. I mean, that's actually more, way more than I think I need. And my concealer. So your concealer, think about your concealer as a mixing medium, as a master mixing medium for most of the colors in your makeup bag. Because once you take that red concealer, that red lipstick and that concealer, and mix them together, you actually have a pink. So I'm actually going to take more concealer. I'm not going to touch my concealer, obviously, to that patch of pink because it's going to contaminate this, the wand. But I am going to just take a little bit more into there. And I'm just going to do a little on the cheek because I love a pink cheek in this realm. I do also always have a cloth on my lap. Uh, and I am going to take my number eight now. Um, because this is a matte liquid lipstick, you do want to blend quite fast because you don't want to let it stain. Um, the concealer is obviously going to give it a little bit of, you know, insurance that it doesn't, but. And then honestly, this brush is kind of doing exactly what I want it to do. So I'm going to use this brush for the eyes too. And there's something about a pink eye and a red lip look that I really, really love. Um, because it just feels cool. It feels modern. It was worn by Kate Moss years and years and years and years ago for an editorial, I believe. Or maybe it was a brand, I don't know. Um, it was the first look that I ever did on Rosie Huntington Whiteley when I did her makeup uh, for the first time about seven years ago. She said, let me, I said, what do you want? She goes, give me KGH special. And I didn't create this look by any means. Nothing is really new. Um, I was sort of doing it a lot on social media at the time. It was like my favorite, favorite look to do. Um, the thing about pink eye and red lip is it does look so much better when mascara goes into the mix. So don't think it looks bad yet because it's not finished um the thing that i would say is always make sure that there is balance between the two colors so for example this lip could actually stand to go a little bit more poppy because the eye is so soft and subdued and like sort of barely there so i am actually just going to take a little bit of base out completely raw without any mixing mediums and i'm just going to take it on my finger and i'm just going to put a little more into the mix and smear it on okay cool so that literally took where are we at we're at eight minutes and that was me describing things not me even being i could have done that in five minutes i'm gonna do mascara this is tower 28 make waves i'm just gonna this is a, a, getting a little dry i need to open a fresh one but i've had this one going for a good three or four months actually um, and sort of very dolly-like lashes work great for a look like this. Just really go up, 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 fan them out. Um, you can pull them out to the side and create a more winged look, but I think it looks really beautiful when they're fresh and open like this. Um, of course, you can like pair a liner with a look like this, but this is kind of the foundation for the pink eye and the red look, uh, red lip look. It's just sort of soft. Um, and back to what I meant about like the contrast of the two shades. The pink should be more soft, the red should be more bold. But I don't think both of them should be neon. Like, for example, if you've got a neon pink eyeshadow and a neon sort of red, like, I wouldn't have both of them fight for the center of attention. I'd have one of them be a little softer than the other in the sense of, like, vibe. Uh, because that way, you'll just get a little bit more... I've got mascara on my eyelids, but I'm actually not mad at it. You'll just get a little bit more something. 
So um, just a bit more of a cool look. So I'm just going to take my concealer one more time. And I may go back and be more bronzer, but I haven't decided yet. So because sometimes concealer kind of gives you that little bit of... Gives you more contrast from the shadows that are already there. Does that make sense? So it's like you just do one thing at a time as opposed to all of the things at a time. Because then that way you are just taking it back one step at a time. And then by going back in with your concealer, it allows for you to just, you know, go back in where there's any areas where you miss where you typically would conceal. Go back in at the um, blush area to sort of feather the blush out a little so that it's not too much contrast. And then I'm literally just going to do a touch of powder. I'm actually going to do powder on top of the lip because I just want the lip to be a little bit more velvety looking. I'm going to just do that same on the lid whilst it's got a little bit of pigment in it. Because this has a little bit of pigment in it from the lip, I'm actually not gonna take it to the face. So again, um, this is basically how you do a pink eye and a red lip uh, in 10 minutes or less. And this is my number eight brush and this is the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. I actually really like that. I don't think I need more of much else i will just take a bigger brush and just do a little bit more of a cheek and sort of just get it a little bit more fun because the pink doesn't have to exist exclusively on the eye i think it's quite nice when it's the eye is connected to the cheek and that my friends is pink eye red lip thanks for watching don't forget to press subscribe if you haven't already and also pop any comments or questions in the Flame me drink below and that is what my hand looks like after a little creative moment in makeup love you all bye